Welcome back to this Guild Wars Let's Play. Your Sambo, Seraphis heals a lot, and joining me as always is the, well, the very tall and purple looking Regina Lacerta. How are you this evening, Reggie? Not as purple as I have previously looked because I've now got new jacket and new pants and neither of them are as purple as I wish them to be. Uh-oh, and you're not going to be happy about that at all, are you, given that you love your purple dye? No. I know. And, I do um, love my purple dye. Poor Reggie. We feel sorry for her already. She's not colour match. She's, look at her, she's purple, green and brown. What? That's terrible. Mind you, look at me. I'm like a real hodgepodge as well. Because uh, as Reggie says in our last episode, if you joined us, you'll remember we got some new pants. Uh, and we had all sorts of fun uh, fiddling with our pants. And uh, Regina is shaking her fist angrily at me because we're not going to have a repeat of last time where we completely no. lost the plot. <laughs> No talking about pants. No talking about pants. All right, no more. <clears throat> oh, look at that doll, she says. <laughs> hey, what the heck? I'm going to try that as well. Was it D-O-H? I didn't... Oh, look at that. I had no clue that that emote was in the game. Well, you learn something every day, folks. And speaking of die, you'll see in my bags here. <laughs> what the hell? What was that? Taunt? You taunted me? <laughs> That's... Hang on. I Let... did. Well, I, where, <laughs> where the heck are you getting all these emotes from? I have no clue. There must be so many. I have wiki. absolutely. Oh, oh, what? A wiki? Is that what you wiki. said? Ah, uh, okay. So she's getting them from yeah. a, a wiki. Which wiki do you go to for Guild Wars, by the way? Just wikiguildwars.com slash wiki slash emotes. Uh, okay, there you go. And, oh, in fact, yeah, I know this site. That's a really, really good site. That's a good tip for everybody watching. If you didn't know about it already, just do a Google search for Guild Wars Wiki and no doubt you'll land at the right place. Uh, it's been around for years, that site, and it's pretty much the number one... It has. Yeah, number one reposit repository for everything you need to know um, from completing quests through to all the lore and story, um, all the crafting, uh, the die combinations... And all the fun and games... All the fun and games, all the tactics, everything you need is in the one spot. So, yeah, good point, Reggie. Definitely pays to give that site a visit if you haven't. And you look in my inventory here, you'll see I do have a couple of vials of dye. I've got a yellow and a brown, but I'm going to save them till later on when I get some better armor. There's no point dyeing uh, my armor now because I think, Reggie, correct me if I'm wrong, but if I dye uh, my chest piece, for example, I don't know, yellow now, and then I sell that chest piece to get something else... I lose, like the die doesn't carry over onto your new item, does it? It actually is per, per piece no, of equipment. No, it doesn't. No, it's per, absolutely, per piece of equipment, per die. So if you start using dies, make sure that you really like the outfit. Yeah, okay, right. Because that could be painful. Imagine if you dyed everything black, for example, and then had to sell it to get better gear. You'd be mighty annoyed at oneself. Anyway, enough talk about uh, fashionable things. Let's open our quest log, hitting the L key. Because, of course, it's different in every MMO. Some are J for journal, some are L for log, some are S for story. You never know. L for log in Guild Wars. And you may remember, if you watched our last episode, we spoke to the Necromancer over... Oh, there she is over that way. Um, and she told us about some nasty char in the catacombs. Reggie, are you up for some char hunting in the catacombs? I am. Absolutely. All right, let's do this. We'll follow the mighty warrior with her. Um, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's a collector. I haven't been to I'm her for a while. I'm not a warrior. While. I'm a ranger. Well, you are a ranger, but you're a warrior compared to me. <laughs> I'm just a little squishy mage. Um, what have we got here? Oh, skeletal limbs. Oh, you've stopped to shop. I've stopped to shop. Sorry. We didn't. We only got like five feet. And Oh, shopping. Um, I don't have enough anyway and looks like they're all just white gear anyhow so i'm not going to bother with anything there sorry about that carry on don't mind me <clears throat> try and resist the urge to shop got enough shoes now yes yes thank you. my middle name's imelda okay who's this academy monk <laughs> do we need to talk to her no okay she's just going to stare at me stare down her nose at me now whereabouts Ooh, in the catacombs got a left or right yeah where are we meant to go now I know we did discover, well, I discovered a unique feature of the mission map. Now, uh, for you guys watching at home, in case you forget, obviously, top right, we've got the mini map. But the mission map is this one over here on the left. And I'm going to make it really big so you can't miss it for a second. And 
that mini map this mission map rather it shows us where our objective is there way over to the west hey why did he attack me why did he come and get me that'll teach you because you're a squishy monk that's right i have heal aggro um now if you make your uh mission map nice and small again uh you notice that that asterisk goes out of view you can actually drag the mini map there rather than the mission map you can see what i'm doing i'm actually dragging it around within the frame so don't forget that you can do that and you can see that our objective is showing up over there uh, to the west so that's nice and handy alongside the cookie crumb trails now Le reggie needs a heal let's do that oh and she also needs enchant an enchantment on her we forgot to put one on her it's that retribution i need one as well and we'll give hello kitty an enchantment as well so all three of our party members are buffed oh look that's called a cephas axe it's almost got my name on it it's definitely destined for me now which way are we i reckon we meant to go this way but i could be wrong because to me yeah i have no idea i'm already turned around okay well the asterisk asterisk why can't i say that word is over to the west so let's head to the west look how pretty that is so nice i'm gonna let you attack first ah there's a skeleton after me they'll come for you anyway yeah they do love me they do. Right, we're making such an easy target i am an easy target it would seem <laughs> all right so looking at our mission map it looks like we're going in the right direction if you ask me now this particular spell that I'm using just there is quite a good one but it's more for um, a group of mobs because as you can see there it says for five seconds um, foes adjacent to the location in which the spell was cast uh, take 13 holy damage each second. So basically it's an AOE spell and it's a dot so it's actually quite powerful uh, but it works a lot better obviously when there's a group. Of mobs and there you go two bones given to reggie crafting material very handy what's she shooting at oh coming out of the woodwork these mobs <clears throat> yeah there's a few of them in this little area yep Sit oh, quietly and... until you're on top of them yeah oh and there's reggie's got her um fido out already she does love her minions doesn't she let's give it a heal to make it last I just a do. little bit longer <laughs> Oh, there's a skeletal limb for more. Well, the more minions, the less pounding we have to do. Yep, yeah, absolutely. You have right, a veritable... More hands make light work. Yeah, well, you have a veritable army when you get everything going. Now, I'm sure I remember... Yeah. See, remember there's this little sneaky this spot way? over this way. I remembered ah, that. Yeah, because it looks like... A sneaky it's a, bit. Yeah, it looks like it's a dead end down here, but um, but it's not. Excellent. Alright, so let's have a look at our map. Way to go for Sambo's memory. Yeah. And look at that, we are heading in the right direction towards the asterisk. asterisk. <laughs> Tongue tied on that word. Tonight. So we're definitely heading in the pointy right direction. Pointy star thing. It's what? Oh, the star thing, yeah. It's a pointy star thing. <laughs> it's a pointy star thing. I think I'll use that from now. Now, do we go down there or do we carry on? I have no clue. Ah! Carry on equals spider. Whoops. I think we just get these spidery things. Yeah, get them out of the way. Not Whoops. enough energy again. I should admit to it, but I've run out of energy. You've run out of energy. It happens to the best of us. And I had a bit of a graphic frame rate glitch again there, but it seems to have cleared itself away. Oh, that's right. This is a dead end. So we do have to go the other way whoops this won't turn around no this one this is the way to go apparently Lee. ah you've got a horn bow oh hang on let me have a look at the stats in case it's something you could oh it's just a white one i don't think it's going to be any good for you no, I actually have a pretty good bow on me at the moment. Ah, good. Oh. Pretty good bow for this level of the game, at least. Right. 
That's a good point. Um, don't be too disconcerted, folks, if you're playing the game and most of your gear is um, very rudimentary or white. And by white gear, of course, I mean when you hover over it here, uh, for example, my starter holy rod there, you can see the writing on it is white. It means it's got no stats. That's quite okay. <clears throat> You don't really need anything big in this pre-searing section of the game. They're good for pocket money. Yeah, that's a good point. Very good point for selling up. Or oh, for come on. Frame rate, stop glitching out on me. Be a good boy. I must admit, I do like getting uh, the white items, if nothing else, just to salvage them to get crafting items to use later on. Oh, you know what? That's a really good point. And I haven't been doing that. I've been selling my white items instead of salvaging them. That's some really good advice from Reggie there because, of course, you can never have enough crafting materials for later on in the game. No, you can never have enough crafting materials. That is absolutely correct. In real life, as in gaming. Oh, that's right. Because, of course, you might remember, folks, that Reggie is, in fact, a real-life crafter as well. So, uh, she would know. And if you saw my game space slash workspace, you would wonder how I managed to get either done. <laughs> I see you mix both. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, see, unlike myself, I can... And I'm painting my nails while doing it. Oh, God, I can only ever do one thing at once. Well, actually, technically, I'm doing two things at once at the moment. I'm playing the game, and I'm sitting down. So there we go, I am multitasking. <laughs> and you're talking. And I'm talking. And my computer's you're having doing a... really good. Oh, listen to her, she's so horrible to me. She's so horrible to me. Um, oh, you love it. Well, I may not heal Fido. <laughs> if I get in the grump. <laughs> now, what is going on with my computer? It's fits and starts. Sometimes it works fine, sometimes it's lagging. I'm not liking things at the moment. Too much going on. Well, I don't know. I think there possibly might be a background task <coughs> happening in the background there <coughs> that's interrupting. So what I might do just very quickly here on Spiderweb, let's pick that up, is we'll take a quick pause, which means unfortunately your bone minions are probably going to pass out. Never mind. But yep, something definitely but weird is happens. going on. Yep. All right, folks, we'll just pause here and we'll be right back. All right, and we're back, folks. Sorry about that. No idea what that was. I didn't do anything and it just came right all by itself. So let's hope it stays that way. Anyway, back into it. Oh, this is a cool section. I love this. Look at the the architecture and the candles. All the candles around. Yeah. Guild can you Wars? see on our compass map all oh. the little red dots? I can. The other side of this wall. Yes. If what we go there, we're going to get pummeled. Whoa. You know what? I'd never noticed that before. There are heaps of enemies in there. That's amazing. Ah, but I see an asterisk person just at the... Ah. Just at the um, top here. You're oh, right. Oh, that's the, the dude we're looking for. It is. Oberon. Should, should we take out the uh, enemies? <clears throat> just to be safe. We're looking pause to attack. <clears throat> All right. Let's do it. Let's clear the area. <clears throat> we go, one down, one more to go. And I need to heal myself. Two down. Yay! There we go. Alright, let's talk to this chap, see what he has to say. Greetings, I'm called Oberon, Char in the catacombs. You come here seeking Char that we do. If you require proof, take this, it's a token he left behind. Leave me to my studies and return to the world of the light. So what's our objective now? Return to Rurik in Ascalon City. <clears throat> oh, so we get to go home already. Let's kill a couple more things while we're here, eh? Ah! Well, bear with me. I'm just going to get... Ooh. Whoops. You're running out of inventory space over there? Just a little bit. Yeah. I just can't let anything go. She's a hoarder. I am. Order. Oh, and there's something Everything else that's dropped for you there. Wow, that's so cool. Look at that big chasm. You know, what I was going to say before, actually, <clears throat> is the art of Guild Wars um, is actually incredible. Now, 
looking down there, the view you can see, folks, on my screen at the moment, we are looking down uh, that sort of, uh, what is it, a chasm, an alleyway, whatever, with the sun pouring through. Um, a lot of uh, time and effort goes into the design of these, and I say that because a lot of the concept artwork done by the Guild Wars team has become very iconic in terms of pieces of art, game art. Uh, and all of the concept art that was made for Guild Wars has been put into an actual art book, but it's also available online. Do yourself a favor, trust me, even if you're not that much into art, um, just do a Google for Guild Wars concept art and be prepared to see some absolutely stunning pieces of artwork. And <clears throat> you'll notice that they resemble in-game very much. Like, for example, this scene here, I know... Uh, it looks exactly like that in a piece of hand-drawn uh, concept art. <clears throat> Excuse me, frog in my throat. And they've translated it absolutely perfect into the game, the look and the feel. Well worth doing that. Once again, Guild Wars uh, concept art. Go Google it. Do yourself a favour. Have you seen any of it before, Reggie? Because it's absolutely stunning. I haven't, no. I'm going to have to take advice and have yep. a look. It's well worth it. Now, what are we doing? We need to get back to where? Um... Escalon City. Did you want to map travel or did you want to run? <clears throat> um, I think it'd be better to map travel. However, do you have over on having a second quest or is that just me? Oh, um, what's it called? He had another quest. I haven't picked up. I'm going to run back and just double check. I've got a second quest. The accused, the 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 accursed path. Oh, you know what? I now, don't have it. <clears throat> yeah, I know why. Because it might be a necromancer only quest. It is because he is actually a necromancer. Because you can see there, greetings. I'm called Oberon, and curses are my specialty. So now, what do you, is that? Something you have to do here in the catacombs? Because we can do that now. I believe it is something that I have to do here. Go south and destroy all the crypt fiends. Oh, there here they are. come. Destroy five or more crypt things. Ah, yep, too they're late. coming at us now. We're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> we have no choice. No time to talk. We're just going to do this quest now. Yeah. Oh, he could help us, couldn't he? I know. Oh, my inventory is full now as well. Oh, my God. We so need more bags. Ah, uh, here's Seriously. the next crypt fiend. I'm just going to identify this longbow. There we go. <clears throat> They're cool looking creatures, aren't they? I love the design of all the creatures. They are, in they're this sort world. of like <gasps> a nightmare. Reggie, Reggie, oh, Reggie, I got Reggie! The die. It's a silver die worth one gold. Oh my god. And a full inventory. And a full inventory, the worst time in the world. And here come more creatures. And the crypt fiend coming. Oh my god, it's oh, all happening. Too much to do. <clears throat> now, forgive me if I'm wrong, but if I remember correctly, um, Silver dye is exceptionally rare as well, isn't it? I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't drop every day. I'm picking it up. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to take... I'm not letting that one go. No, I wouldn't either. Uh, yeah, identify... Oh, there's some more crypt fiends. Good lord. They're not happy chappies. Well, it says we have to do five or more. I've only got... We've only got one more to do. Oh, okay. Look at us with our full bags. We're dropping items on the ground, left, right, and centre. Here comes another one. That's all right. Pick up that. Drop that. Pick that up. Oh, now our enchantments have worn off. Whoops. Silly Sambo. And I need to give myself a heal. Warhammer. I'm going to have a full inventory. Let's make sure we enchant everybody up and give them that protective buff because I've let that drop off, which is bad, 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 Sambo. Very bad. If you've got an enchantment that um, aids your party, for goodness sake, make sure it's up all the time. Not like me. All right, what else Absolutely. can we drop? Absolutely. Yep. Uh, have I got any white? Yeah, I've got a tribal blade there. What's that worth? The good thing about the game is that when you hover over an item, at least... It does actually tell you uh, what it's worth. Um, so you can see here. Oh, now it's not. Why is it not telling me? That's I think interesting. You've been and I'm getting lying on the ground too long. You don't 
get as many stats from them when you look at it. Oh, perhaps. That might be the case. And the frame rate's going nuts again. What is going on? Bizarre, Mike. I can see you. Hang on. Yep, I think it's Windows trying to do things in the background, like, I don't know, it, it, can tell I'm, it can tell I'm playing a game so it decides to, like, you know, index the hard drive or something stupid like that. I can see it thrashing away. Of course. Um, I'm just going to, we'll pause here one more time. Sorry, folks, and let it pass. We'll be right back. And there we go, folks, back again. Sorry about the interrupt. Well, it was no interruption for you, but goodness knows what my Windows is doing in the background, but it's causing something to occasionally glitch and lag on oh, it's decided to do it again <laughs> that's the most bizarre thing it's been running totally fine until we actually need it to tell you what um reggie we were going to map travel anyway i think because we've got this quest here we have to return oh no wait a minute have you finished your uh necromancer quest here i have finished it handed it in it's all good all right so can you map Should travel I start us? the traveling yeah map travel us to oh hang on how do we do Ooh, it again now it's saying that well, I've tried to um, travel and it's telling me that I will leave the party. Oh, even so... Even though I am supposed to be the party leader. But I guess technically we're in mm. an explorable area. So I guess we're going to have to do the old resign thing. Let's do it. Oh, of course. Yes. Let's try that. Seraphis heals a lot, has resigned. <gasps> and there we go. We'll there both we keel go. over. <laughs> When in doubt, just <laughs> give in and keel over, <laughs> and you'll be automatically teleported to your nearest city. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Classic. Oh, and it's taken us to Ashford now Abbey. Now shall we do a map travel? Yeah, actually, can we just... I, I quickly want to go to this merchant. Oh, look at this necromancer. That is really cool colour. She's got black and gold. That looks awesome. Very nice. Oh, that <laughs> is oh, quite... Me. All right, time to sell up, make some room in my bags before we go. Sell, sell. God, I've got so much stuff, and it's all crafting material and collector items. I've only got like about two slots left for actually picking up goods along the way. It's so terrible. It is, but you don't want to let anything go because you might never know when you might need it. I know, we're such typical hoarders. All right, I am ready to map travel when you are. Lovely. Then I shall initiate it. All right. Traveling to Ascalon City. Is what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah, what are we doing? We're returning to Rurik for the Char and the Catacombs quest. Ah, oh, no, I think he was standing up... Um, at one of the castle walls, wasn't he? Oh, you yeah, could be right, actually, over this way. Oh my god, look, look at this! Whoa! Whoa! Okay, folks, you don't see this every day. Synchronized <laughs> naked man dancing. What the heck? It's a free show! What a pack of. Whoa! Hello, neighbor! <laughs> <laughs> Reggie! <laughs> Classic. Oh, she's just. Oh, there's no other Reggie, is there? Look at these guys go. Yes, with their hip thrust, and they've got all their special pets out. You can see there's a little Gwen over there. There's a, a Easter rabbit. There's lions. There's ghosts. There's um, winged demons. There's flaming infernos. There's all sorts of stuff. What isn't that fantastic? Now, I and should actually mention, you said before that there, that there was a rabbit. I was actually playing um, in uh, Nightfall earlier today. Oh, yes. Today. Nightfall. Yeah, I love Nightfall. <laughs> and um, one of the Guild Wars expansion packs. And yep. there was a heap of rabbits in one of the outposts. Oh. And I actually just randomly asked the question, where are all the rabbits coming from? And someone actually said they were players that had drunk a special potion to look like rabbits. Oh, so obviously so, an Easter event then. Yes. How it was very cool. Wow. That mm. is cool. I did not know that. And what is I couldn't find the potion though. Yeah, you probably have to do a, a whole series of quest <laughs> chains to get it. And in fact, that's probably um, somewhere, guys, if you're watching, that would be a good example of using the Guild Wars wiki. 
by the way that would probably have all the information you need about getting the Easter quest you know what I've just noticed <laughs> these guys that are dancing here and I have no idea why I'm still standing here uh, watching them dance but they're actually called I've gone and handed the question already yeah I, well no it's because I noticed their names and they're called boy toy one boy toy two three four five <laughs> six and seven so there you have it. No way. That is classic. And look, we have more people dancing over here. It's a dance fest. Oh, there are some people who just have far too much time on their hands. Even it's... more time on their hands than you seem to have, Thambo. Good Lord. Yes. That's not that's not hard, trust me. Um, all right, so I need to go hand up. There you go. You can go perv at the boy toys while I uh, go and hand in. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm sure you'll, uh, you'll deeply dislike having to do that. <clears throat> Anyway, right, Rurik, where are you? It's Here he is, real. Prince Rurik. It's not real. It's not real. It's not. <laughs> She's chanting a mantra of "It's not real." Okay, right. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Beyond help, 250 XP for us. Thank you very much, Rurik. We appreciate that. Let's go back to Reggie. We can just click on her name, hit spacebar, and go straight to her. Now let's have a look in the log. I'm sure we've got uh, lots of time for some more questing. Actually, you know what? I only have four quests left in my log. What about you? Well, that's one more than I have. I currently have three quests. Interesting. Left. Okay, I have Path to Glory, uh, which is, I think, the way out of here. I have Char... Ah, the... see, I, didn't, I haven't accepted that one. Oh, that's why. Okay, cool. So we've got mm. Char at the gate, which is one of the last quests we will do from experience. Yes. Um, I've got definitely. one called Domination. The higher level you are to do that quest, the better. Yeah, def definitely agree with you there. Um, do you have one called Domination Magic? I, no, I don't. Okay, that's, I have that's the, probably power, a class the power one. of blood. Yep, don't have that. And unnatural growths. Okay, I don't have either. I've got Protection Prayers and Domination Magic. So it looks to me like we're both down to our class-specific quests, I think. So I'm going to um, flip the coin, and look, it's in your favor. You uh, you choose one of your class ones and take us there, and let's let's do it. We'll get your ones out of the way. Okay, well, I'm going to choose the one, the Power of Blood, which is actually in Green, Hill, Green Hills County. Okay. Which I remember being quite a pretty little area. It's nice, and that's over at the Baradin Estate, so presumably you're able to map travel us there. Oh, unless it's on the on this side of the county. That, you may want yeah, to walk there. Um, for some reason it's actually um, showing me that it, it's got the catacombs highlighted. Wow, okay, I may interesting. I need to check my log again and see what, what's going on. It right. That's right, we don't mind running around on a grand adventure. That's what the game is all about. Well, at least it's lovely weather. <laughs> it is. Uh, now, little friend Gwen is oh. hovering around, I'm sure. Look at that. She's got a question mark, or rather an exclamation mark above her head. But more importantly, what, we do, what we do have is something that Reggie picked up earlier and gave it to us, especially so you guys at home can see this. See in my inventory there, I have a small girl's cape. All right, now Reggie picked that up. Thanks for handing it over. Let's go talk to Gwen. Um, and she automatically says to us, Oh, you've got a cape. Where did you find it? Can I have it, please? And I say, sure, it will look nice on you. And look, she's now got a cape. Thank you, thank you. Look how pretty it is. You're my favorite person after mummy. And I think I'll give you my most favorite thing in the whole world. And I think what she gave us there is the tapestry shred, uh, if I remember right. Yeah, there it is. The tapestry shred. Now, I don't remember exactly the story behind this, Reggie. And I know it's a real institution in Guild Wars. But I'm pretty sure that with the, with the if you collect enough tapestry shreds, you get something special that's only available in pre-searing. Do you know off the top of your head or are we going to have to go look it up on the Guild Wars wiki? We may need to have to look that one up because I don't believe I've ever achieved it. Yeah, I definitely know there's something to do with the tapestry shred. So either perhaps one of you guys watching will be able to put something in the comment box below, help us out here, or we'll go look on the uh, Guild Wars wiki in between filming. Right, so where are we going? Going off, heading up north, no, south rather, to the catacombs? Well, I've just, yes, I've just reread the quest. It is actually in the 
the I've just got to do another quest in the catacombs. Um, seeing as we were just there, did we want to switch to the other one and do the unnatural growths? Sure, why not? Let's mix it up amongst the pretty red flowers. Beautiful. Look at that in the background, so pretty. And where well, does I'm unnatural growth take us? Foible spare. Oh, that's right ahead. Oh no, it wants me to leave the party. <laughs> oh, really? How about we resign? Okay, let's resign. Because we can't map travel together if we're in an uh, area. That seems so wrong. Having to kill ourselves it does. just out of convenience. <laughs> I love doing it though. Is that, is that wrong? It's, it is. It's, it's a guilty pleasure. All right, Excellent. where are we headed? Good to know. Good to know. We're going to Foible's Fair. All right. Because map travels um, there. What I need to do is in Wizard's Folly, which is that beautiful snowy area. Oh, good. Because you guys might remember a few episodes back, we had the unfortunate mishap of doing a lot of filming in Wizard's Folly, which is one of my favourite zones, uh, and we lost the footage. Um, so perhaps this time yes, we'll be able to. Yes, that episode where I gave Sambo some extra specially good stick, and he deleted the episode, so you wouldn't be able to hear it. That's your story. That is, <laughs> that is not what happened, but. <laughs> Sadly, sadly, she is right in that she did give me an uh, a uh, previously unknown mention mentionable level of stick, uh, and it sadly got lost to the techno gods. <clears throat> so I was very upset about that. But it doesn't matter because now we're back here. Uh, thanks to Reggie's quest, we'll be able to have a good look around, hopefully. And I'd noticed before, Reggie, that in Foible's Fair, before, every time we're there now, I'm going to remember what you told me, that it's always raining there. I'd never noticed that before. Very interesting. <laughs> it is. And, of course, it's always snowing up here. The beautiful, beautiful snowy mountains. I love, you know what, I love snow in games. I lo absolutely adore it in WoW. And I love it in, in this game as well. <clears throat> I think it reminds me of home back in New Zealand where it snows a lot. We used to go skiing a lot there. Don't get to do that so much. Oh, I think I'm taking here. us the wrong direction. Oh, that's all right. We're up for the scenic journey anyway. <clears throat> well, it's all white. How can you tell where you're going when it all looks the same? I know. We're snow blinded. And look at that, well, folks. See, also, living in Melbourne, you wouldn't be that... Uh, that you know, unused to rainy weather because I know or it's either raining or threatening to rain. Melbourne weather is just ridiculous. It's definitely a case of four seasons in one day if you live in Melbourne. All right, now, whoops, it's I've forgotten to. Weather. I've forgotten to put the enchantments on everybody again. Let's do that, especially on the oh, pet. Sambo. I know. Sorry. Do you know what I'm beginning to think? <clears throat> is that when we leave an outpost, the uh, all of the buffs get stripped, and that would make sense, I suppose. But we'll, I have to remember to check that and next time. Very unprofessional of me, but my arrow is changing direction so much. I still don't know if we're going in the right way, but yeah, well, this I'm going to continue. This is a very confusing area, though, because you're dead right. You can have an objective over one way, uh, pointing in a particular direction. And you have to kind of wriggle round in the opposite direction to get to it, because there's only one way to get out of this area. And there's that wonderful structure up ahead with the Elementalist's trainer. And so do you think perhaps it's in that cave over in the corner there? Is that where we're having to go? I believe it is. Oh, goody, good, good. I like the cave. It's so pretty. Oh, I know. This whole area is so pretty. It's just awesome. All right, so Windows appears to be throwing up the old stutter every now and then. Of course, it's not nowhere near as bad as it was, as you can tell if you're watching, but apologies for that. I really don't know what's going on. And of course, if you watch my DC Universe Online uh, Let's Play series, you'll know that it's been happening to me a lot in there as well. Something's up. But anyway, in the meantime, we need to give Reggie... Well, actually, we need to give everybody a good old heal because we're losing health to these guys. We got swamped, didn't we? We did, we got three of them at once. Yeah. It's a bit unfair. It's Something hardly like they're cricket. they're up on us or something. <laughs> no. <laughs> Who yeah, would yeah, have chat. thought? So speaking of cricket, are you going to be watching the royal wedding? Oh, you know what? I've kind of avoided, <laughs> I've avoided all of that. Uh, do you know what's hilarious actually, speaking of that, is I was in the comic store on Saturday morning, which is my usual 
Saturday morning thing, and I go in there with uh, Roman over. You want to find Sam on a Saturday morning? Go to the comic book store. Yes, we yes, know that one. That's that's the one. Pretty predictable. Whoa, whoa! I need to heal myself. Anyway, we were looking through the shelves. Uh, by the way, I go with Roman over, who will be familiar to any of you guys who watch either the DC Universe Online Let's Play or my Rift Let's Play. He's the guy that plays Tallahassee. Oh, we got a loot loot chest. Uh, anyway, we were in. Oh, loot chest. We were in the comic store. I'm going to just salvage that right now to save uh, save some inventory space. By the way, bad guy coming. Whoops! Quick salvage job. Salvage before combat, and it'll probably cost me my life. Anyway, we're in the comic store, and um, Roman over pointed out on the shelf to me. He said, "Can you believe this? Take a look at what I'm looking at." And on the shelf were two comics. One had her face on it. One had the other. There is a comic <laughs> of the royal couple. Can you believe no it? No way. Yeah, it's just sad, isn't it? Oh, I have a family member who would love that. Really? I'm so not buying it for her. <laughs> so you've got a royalist in the making already, have you? <laughs> oh, not that family member. Oh, okay, right. <laughs> no, my sister. Oh, okay. Ooh, ooh. Here we go. An unidentified blade. Let's identify that on the run. Because that's what we should do to make sure we don't forget to do it. There we go. Absolutely. <gasps> Look at the scenery here. I forgot all this was through the cave. I, I keep thinking that the cave is a dead end, and of course it's not. It's actually basically a tunnel no. through to through to this back area. You can see on the mini map here, we're right down the bottom corner of uh, Wizard's Folly. Fantastic, and it looks so awesome back here. Look at that. This frozen frozen waterfall over there. <clears throat> And Reggie needs a heal. Now, interestingly enough, Reggie, I've got... There's an asterisk on my map for Domination Magic. And it's nearby here. It's kind of... Uh, actually, no, it's not really. It's probably in Regent Valley. Anyway, good to know that all the quests we need to okay. do... Well, they're semi, it's semi-close. So they're not too far away. Tall shield. And. Oh, well, maybe there's a back door from here to Regent Valley. Yeah, I think there might be, actually. I'm taking up I Reggie's know advice. I there's a back door somewhere to the catacombs. Oh, I think you're right. There definitely is a back door to the catacombs here somewhere. God only knows where. I certainly can't remember. We'll either stumble across it or never find it. Yep, one or the other. <clears throat> But what I'm definitely doing here, folks, is taking Reggie's advice, and whenever I get a white item, instead of either dropping it or selling it, uh, I'm salvaging it, because you can see there, the last one I got a iron ingot. I'm going to salvage this one, and we'll see what we get. A summit hammer, and we got one iron ingot from that as well. So it definitely pays to do that. Where's Reggie? Let's press spacebar on her name and we'll go straight to her. Make sure we give her a yeah, heal. Yeah, being pummeled over here. Yeah, that's all right. We've got you back. Good. And we'll give her pet a heal as well. Yeah, look after Kitty. Gotta look after Hello Kitty. Oh man, it looks so pretty back here. It's so awesome. I just love this game. Like this. I don't know what it is. There's a feeling I get playing Guild Wars that I don't get in any other game. And I'm trying to put my finger on it and I don't know what it is. And I don't know you what it is. You can definitely tune out while playing this game. Yeah. Because just The game actually gives you a timer. Like it'll come up and say you've been playing for an hour. So that's I'd like true. to tell you how long you've been playing for. And I know that I'll be playing it. I'll look at it and I'll be like, really? I've been playing for an hour? I've been playing for two hours? I've been playing for six hours? <clears throat> yeah. Doesn't feel like it. <laughs> I know. It goes so fast, doesn't it? It's, it's just amazing. It's so pretty. And of course, um, what our viewers won't know if they're new to the Guild Wars uh, franchise is that this is just... Oh, there goes my frame rate again. All right. This is really starting to get on my nerves now because I... It's weird, it only seems to be when when we're fighting. Maybe that's got something to do with it, I don't know. I need to salvage some stuff, make some room. 
pick these up again salvage salvaging all the white stuff to get lovely crafting materials uh, inventory <gasps> tetris inventory tetris that's Put the that one down to yeah that's a great idea Put great. something down to be able to pick something up to be able to salvage this to i know what a great term i've never heard of that before it's brilliant um uh, what was I going to say? I've now run out of salvaging kits though, damn it, so I can't actually salvage anything anymore. Whoops. I know, I've run out of salvaging kits as well and I'm like, no, my inventory's full, I don't want to drop anything. I know, it's so horrible, isn't it? Oh, I remember uh, this part. come out of the snow. Yeah, this is, you can see where we are on the mini-map there, folks. We're right down the very bottom and we're coming into Regent Valley. In fact, we're going to be coming up close to where the asterisk for my quest is which is quite handy but um this oh, is that's handy i know now this is one of the parts that you guys missed when we lost the footage last time um and it's so cool because this is where you can see here the snow starts to dissipate and turns into uh, a nice pleasant countryside oh wow there are so many mobs oh my god i'm getting totally pummeled i know i'm getting quite I'm quite harassed by these. Is this, are these mobs all for your quest, do we think, perhaps? Is that what they're for? They are, yep. They oh, are okay. indeed. So yep. We found the right spot. I've got to find all the large yellow seeds. Right. We need to give Reggie a heal. Yes, please. Sorry about that. We'll let it get a bit low. But look how pretty it looks while we're dying. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just ignore me and admire the scenery. That's the one. I know deep down somewhere that there you do care about me. I do. Somewhere deep down. So these aloe roots... Oh, I've got to pick up... I have to pick them up. They're quest items and I've got no inventory room for them. Oh no. I have to make... It's like Sophie's choice. <laughs> I have to drop <laughs> it's things. It's Reggie's choice. So these aloe roots, um, I'm able to pick them up but you, I, I shouldn't, should I? Because they're needed for your quest. It's weird that I can pick them up. It does up. say that it's a quest. Well, it does say it's a quest item, but I can still pick them up. It's bizarre, but I won't. Well, let me know when you've got all your quest okay. stuff. Do you need these aloe roots? Well, I've got or the three. I'm just looking around. I think I should just pick them all up because it doesn't actually specify how many I'm supposed to have. Right, so I'm but you pick them all up. But you don't need uh, unnatural seeds. Oh, that's actually assigned to me. Whoops, never mind. Sorry about that. <laughs> well, that actually just says find an aloe root, so maybe I only need one of them. Oh, there's one. Oh. Does it say in your log that it's complete or anything? It does. Oh, there we go. I'm just still firing. It's all XP. It's all. It's all uh, goes toward leveling up. Oh yep, yeah. no complaints from this this part of the uh, theatre. Ah, uh, now Sambo, it looks where I have to hand this back is in Wizard. Um, sorry, in Regent Valley, which may even be close to your quest. So oh yep. Yeah, well, did you want to lead the way to where your quest yeah. is, and maybe I can hand it on the way through? Yep. Yeah, well, my quest hand, and I'm going to point at it in a minute, is pretty much straight over the other side of those hills basically so i'd say that's where we need to head to next um oh look there's a hidden stash up okay. there as well although i've noticed we're way over time so we're probably gonna have to call it here maybe we'll we'll get rid of these mobs and have a look at the hidden stash and we'll have to wrap up this episode folks which is so sad it goes so fast i love playing this game so much but don't worry we'll pick straight back up right from here in the next episode. Oh my god, we're getting surrounded by aloe seeds again. Are these your quest mobs again? They are. I don't need them, but they're here. <gasps> they're coming. It's okay. Like you say, it's XP and all XP is welcome. Indeed it is. The higher level we are for that last quest within this part of the game, the better we're going to be. Yep, totally agreed. Oh my gosh, Windows. I am not your best friend at the moment. I do not like you, not one bit. Whatever it is you're doing. Oh, look at that view up there. That is amazing. That looks so pretty. The sky's pink. 
the autumn trees, the snowy hills in the background, and of course our lovely flowery haired Regina in the foreground. Such a pretty picture we paint, um, except for the scale, <laughs> who's ruining the picture. <laughs> How dare he? How dare he? And of course we have a hidden stash, which is just terrible because both of us have um, full inventory, so we, we both know we're going to have to ditch something for whatever drops out of here. There we go, a serpent axe. And I can't even salvage. Oh dear. Well, maybe five. we just have to hope we'll get some of them later. Yeah, maybe. All right, well, there we have it, folks. This is as good a place as any to leave off this episode with a beautiful scene behind us there, the snowy mountains. In fact, that does remind me very much of where I come from in New Zealand. Beautiful, beautiful view there. Um, so you can see on my map here, we've got not far to travel, just a bit north up the stream to where my quest is, and then we'll carry on with Reggie's one in this area, which is Regent Valley. So you've got all that to look forward to next time. And uh, wait a minute, we're being attacked again. Oh gosh, they love us, don't they? Of course we are. Oh my god, look at that. Reggie's cheering them on. Typical. <laughs> oh dear. Well, if you can't beat him, you're gonna... If you can't beat him, join him. Couldn't agree more. There we go, folks, and hopefully we'll be a little bit less glitchy and laggy next time as well. So, Reggie, thank you once again for taking time out of your busy week to join us. I hope you enjoyed uh, messing about on that episode uh, with I us. I always enjoy having fun, Guild Wars. Oh, same here. It's such a pleasure to play. Such a pleasure to have you along as well. So, folks, uh, on behalf of Reggie and myself, Sambo, it's us signing out, hoping that you'll join us next time, hoping even more that you're having a great day wherever you are. And until then, we'll see you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>